It's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from North Brewing Company and it's a can of their Session Pale Ale. There you go. It's coming in at 4.1% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Whoa, a little bit of spray on the opening. Uh, this beer was kindly sent to us, given to us really, by uh, Daniel Bale. Thank you very much, Daniel Bale. Had some wonderful beers given to me by Daniel over, what, the last, I'd say the last three, four months. Been amazing, absolutely amazing. The support on this channel in 2020. I'm just going to use the words 2020 because that year will go down in history, no doubt. But the support for this channel in 2020 has been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I thank you all, every one of you, for supporting us and, and just doing your bit, really, to, to, to keep us going, keep us running. It's just amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel Bale. So, beer in the glass. We might be able to get a little bit more in here now. Here's a two, three, two to three finger white head, hazy kind of straw coloured amber, straw kind of on its way to amber colour. Good levels of carbonation, you can see the carbonation there rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, wonderful. North Brewing Company are making some terrific beers. I actually went to their bar once in 2012, North Bar in Leeds. I wonder how much that's changed since 2012. It was eight years ago. They just sat you down and gave you a menu and said, here's your menu, just go through and see what beer you want. It's, just, it's the first time I've ever looked at a menu at all the different beers and I was, I was amazed, absolutely amazed to come across all these wonderful different beers. This smells really tropical, really juicy, touch of grapefruit, touch of lemon, passion fruit and mango. Should we dive in? Cheers everyone. <laughs> wow, really good. To go back in for a second mouthful. Really tropical, really juicy. Lemon, grapefruit flavours coming through. Passion fruit, mango. A little bit of bitterness. A little bit of bitterness on the back of the palate. A lot of these beers now, they're... they're producing them to have loads of flavour in the middle uh, and just a little bit of sweetness to begin with and just a little bit of bitterness on the back end just to kind of balance things out but they build these beers now they design these beers to to have all the flavour in the middle chock chock kind of full in the middle and that is that is all the flavour I'd say 90% of the flavour is in the middle of the taste so not to begin with, not towards the end, kind of all channeled down the middle. And it's good, it's really, really good. I've had quite a few now beers uh, from North Brewing Company and they just, they're just producing some terrific, terrific beers. <clears throat> Sputnik, I've had Sputnik, which was incredible in a can. Um, what was the one that was the, the big red can, 440 milliliter? Lost Cosmonauts in Tesco for £3 a can. That was terrific for a £3 can of craft beer. Mm. 
But that is just pineapple and grapefruit and just wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Really good, really drinkable, really refreshing. Um, oh, it's got, a, it's got a kind of a tutti fruity, slightly sweet flavour as well going on. Just, just, well, it's more than good. It's fantastic. It's, it's just incredible. Look at the lacing on the glass. It has a rock the beer back and forth. You can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. And just, it's really, really good. A beer that you could drink and then you'd want another one. And that's the biggest, for a brewer, that's the biggest compliment you can give a brewer is is that I want another one yeah or so brewers tell me anyway uh, okay so ingredients are barley oats hops and yeast um, contains barley and oats uh, which is allergen for some people um, they're based in Taverners Walk estate in Leeds yeah should we rate it Love that. Session Pale. Fantastic by North Brewing Company. Um, they have been, the last year, really after trying Lost Cosmonauts, they've been one of the breweries that whenever I see their beer, whenever I get a can of their beer, I'm like, right, we better review this quick. It's going to be good. We want to drink it fresh. Let's get it reviewed. Let's get it out there. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.